Hey, yo, hey everyone, Skylinks here, bringing you another video review. Going to be doing uh, from the Transformers line, the All Spark line, Incinerator. Now I have four new movie reviews coming up. Uh, my friend went out and he actually bought three of the All Spark line in a recoloring. So I'm going to be doing videos based off his figures instead of going at him wasting my money and buying them myself. Which I actually two of them I actually wish I could buy, but I'm probably not going to. Um, but anyways, here's Incinerator. A little information about Incinerator, he doesn't show up in the movie, but the character bio says that, um, he's not as discreet as other Decepticons in searching for Megatron. He basically interrogates people, lets them, you know, torture them, makes them feel fear, and then dumps them out of the sky once he gets his information. That's about it. He doesn't sound like a nice guy. He sounds like a total dick. Um... Anyways, uh, the figure, he does show up in the movie, well, at least the alt mode does, and I'm going to try to say this correctly, I'm getting this off a uh, wiki, uh, so he is a Bell Helicopter Textron Boeing Helicopter V2 Osprey Tiltron Transport Aircraft based on the CV-22 variant used in the Air Force and featured in the film. Wow, that's a law for an alt mode. I'm just going to call him Heli Guy. I like that. The alt mode is probably the best thing about him. It's unique. It's different. I like it. Um, the gray pattern on the top looks nice. Uh, the Decepticon symbols here. you got a darker gray here. The gray, gray contrast is still very nice. You can pull the radar back and the rotators spin, but they don't spin on the way and it kind of looks retarded. So. But overall, in the alt mode, the color scheme right here with the purple and the blue, I hate the all spark blue. There's only one all spark blue color that I like, and he's not the one that has it. So the all spark blue looks crappy with him. But, you know, all around, I like the alt mode. Let's take one more good view at it. Well, there you go. That was like 30 seconds of alt mode. Now, like I said, this is also my friend's figure, so I've only transformed them once and a half. How did I do once and a half? Oh yeah, he has landing gear, by the way, right here and here. Um, but this one's a bitch to get out. Um, but yeah, I transformed him once and a half. That's because I tried to transform him on video just a minute ago, and I broke off his leg. So I'm going to try the best I can transforming him. Um, what to do, what to do. Well, separate this shit right here. And let's move this down out of the way. Good, try not to break him this time. Um, move this down and move this down. Uh, bring this shit here and bring it down. And bring this shit here and bring it down. Come on, you little bastard. And flip this crap down. So you're flipping this panel down. Um, and coordinate the feed accordingly. <laughs> there we go. Um, next thing you can do, well, let's first get the feet locked in there. Next thing you do is loosen up the arms here. Just take the wings and snap them. And bam, there's the arms. These are fairly simple transformation. Nothing too special about them. Bring the head down and the automorph gimmick is the cockpit kind of separates on its own. Yeah. Again, nothing too special. And you want to make sure that you lock the cockpit into place correctly. Okay, and that's incinerator transformed. I'll do a close up view, don't worry, you will get a close up view. Uh, the rotators still work in this uh, mode, which is kind of nice. The head looks nice. I like the uh, head, it has nice detailing there. Um, his, um, like with all the movie lines, he has pretty good articulation. Unfortunately, he must be like Blackout's long lost cousin because he has this shit right here and that annoys the crap out of me. It would have been nice if they folded back. But on the whole, I'm not going to complain. So I'm going to put him in a pose. I'm going to pause it for a sec and we'll take at the low, uh, we're going to take a look at the robot mode and I'll put my point of view out. Okay? Be right back. 
Okay, here's him fully transformed. What is that, like the 79th time I've said that? Whatever. Um, here you go. I have to say, I have mixed feelings on this figure. Um, overall, the body basis looks nice. I like the body. The hands, on the other hand, I don't like that. And I don't like the shit in the back. The legs I like. The body I like. The head I like. The hands I hate. And the back I hate. Because that just doesn't transform. It kind of reminds me of the aerial bots, where they kind of don't look like they actually transform. It just looks like a robot wearing a jet as a backpack. That's just me. He does have the Decepticon symbol right on his head. Probably can't see that. Now, my main beef with this guy, other than that design, is just the fucking blue all spot color. And the fucking purple color. Jeez. Oh, it just looks... And they don't put any color detail in it either. They just kind of blotch it on. And there's no detailing in there. It just looks pathetic. It does. So, on a whole... Even though he does have some good points, I would say avoid Incinerator. He's not worth your time. He's not worth your money. I mean, if you really want to go out and get him, go get him. But my final verdict, not worth it. I mean, ugly hands, you know, the half-ass transformation, the crappy color scheme. Unless you like the all-spot color scheme. Again, this is my opinion. Can't be official, you know. But I'm just saying what I think, so... If you really want to avoid losing a little bit of money, avoid him. Not worth it. So we're going to do one more overall view. Uh, again, I like, like I said, the legs look nice. They kind of flow together nicely. The body flows together. I like how it separates there. Kind of cool. And his head looks nice. His arms just don't, I don't like the fact that they're rotators. How does he please himself? How does he jack off? That must hurt like hell. Oh, God. And his back just looks half-assed. It's, it's like blackout. It's half-assed. So, anyways, um, before I go, bear with me on this, um, I will be doing th uh, three more movie reviews of the... Oh, actually, well, one of them is definitely all sparkline. I don't know if you can see the other one all sparkline, and then there's a recoloring. You'll see them. You'll know them. But uh, I'll be doing them, and I'll be posting them up one after another each day. So once I post this guy up, tomorrow I'll post up the next one, and so on and so forth. Or unless my schedule gets kind of crappy, then I won't do it. Um, I also have a review for Batman, the animated series, I want to post up, but I haven't been able to post it up anytime soon. But um, I'm going to do that. I just did my Optimal Optimist review. I hope you guys like that. Um, so yeah. Expect some more reviews coming, okay? So this is Skylinks, I'm going to say peace out for now.